This is our civils and infrastructure project, Seagrove Logistics Park. When I was younger, I, um, always, I was always interested in building and construction, drive past, building sites and looking all. And then went to school and through A-levels, I, um, I did well in maths and physics and that kind of guided me towards engineering. It's a uh, 450 acre site, it's just adjacent to uh, Junction 15 of the M1. It's eventually going to house uh, 5 million square feet of uh, industrial facilities. Um, it also has a uh, strategic rail freight interchange with a uh, 170 metre long uh, rail tunnel. Um, there's going to be A508 works and a bypass unit. From being on site I've been able to see the uh, real world of engineering. Being at uni, there's a lot of calculations that can get quite overwhelming, but being able to see those calculations in use and actually in action um, helps you understand them a little bit better. Furthermore, from seeing on site my, the areas progress that I've worked on, that's, that's quite gives you a sense of pride and actually see it makes it makes you feel like your work is worthwhile. One challenge that I faced on site was with the levels of the top of the pond. I uh, did a level survey using the GPS and I found out the levels weren't the correct. So I took that back and then once the levels were corrected, I uh, then set out the fence and as you can see it's been installed. Um, in the next few months I'll be working with the drainage subcontractors on site. Uh, that means I'll be setting out the location of the pipes that they're going to be laying and checking their works couple of times a day to ensure that they're laying them with the correct gradient. If they're not, then I'll have to work out a new gradient for them to lay out and ensure that they reach the pipe at the correct level. And also, I'll be uh, carrying out level surveys on site. That means I'll be taking the GPS out and for one of the plots, for example, every 25 metres I'll survey the ground level. This is quite vital work as I'm able to determine whether the levels are up to design. I'll be continuing setting out the trees on site which means to take the GPS out and mark the location of the trees and also write on the flags what species of tree. Uh, there'll be about 60,000 trees that can be planted on site. Everyone on site is uh, working towards the same goal, which means that I can ask any of them any question and they'll all take time out of the day to answer it for me. Um, being a placement student, I came to the site with no real engineering knowledge, so I had a lot of questions that I felt could have been silly but I was reassured straight away and they answered everything that I had to ask. Developing people as well as projects, that's the Windwick way.